Greetings, citizens of the internet. I'm Static Buzz, and in this video, we're playing some Dragon Quest Builders. This will be episode two of my Let's Play series. And if you watched the demo, you uh, my demo videos, you might have seen what is going on. If not, then uh, welcome to the party, and uh, I will continue this series until it seems like we're at the end of the game and uh, hopefully that's not for a long while but as you can see if you watch the first episode I did some remodeling not really remodeling but I filled in the walls made a whole wall around the outside when I figure out how to make doors I'll put in some doors in the front and back for now this is what we have because I know what's coming <laughs> with the monsters so I want to be a little bit prepared and I didn't want to do that while I was on uh, doing a let's play because it would have taken up too much time like I am right now by rambling anyways what I wanted to share with you guys is this is where you save I'm not gonna save because I just saved but if you need to save and you're wondering where you do it you do it at your banner all right so now we're gonna talk to Pippa maybe no we're not gonna talk to Pippa because she's too close to the darn banner there you go now talk static can I ask you something with all this wandering around and collecting stuff, aren't you getting a bit hungry? Huh, no, it's not just me. That's not my tummy rumbling. It, you must be hearing things again. Yeah, like the voices. I don't think so. But anyways, look. There's a lot of plumberries. Plumberry trees around here. Plumberries are kind of small and they don't really fill you up, but... They're really sweet and juicy. Can you go and get some plumberries for me? Static, please. We need at least five for a decent meal. <clears throat> a plumberry is a small pink fruit that never falls far from the tree. Perhaps you should take a look and see if there are any nearby. All right. And there are. I saw some. So let's go ahead and get some. One right there. And what's weird about these is you actually have to hit them to be able to collect them, even though they're sitting right there. And sometimes, just sometimes, these bats drop them. That's why I call them fruit bats. Oh, now they're dropping. Okay, so a slime got a little close to me while I was doing stuff, and I ended up taking it out, and it dropped this milk blossom bud, which it did not do in the demo. Unless it's just a rare drop and I missed it. And now the fruit bats, that I call, <laughs> call them fruit bats, are dropping grass seeds. I don't know what that's about, but we will continue on anyways. Alright, more plum berries. There we go. Alright, we have five. What? Since we are collecting, we might as well just grab a couple more. Ooh, there's a bunch over there. Let's go grab those. And then those two and we'll head back. Because they do help my soon-to-be food meter that'll be up there. Or I guess it's my uh, <clears throat> hunger meter, starvation meter, or however you want to put it. Similar to food in Minecraft is what it is. And you will see that probably after I turn this quest in. If she's not sleeping. But she's sleeping. So you know what? It's night time. We will sleep as well. Come on. Here we go. Alright. Stretch it. Oh yeah. Time for the morning. Wow. You found some so many plumberries. Can I have them? You can have the five. The rest are for me, man. Back off. Hooray! Thanks, Static. To tell the truth, I'm actually really, really hungry. I know. Here, these are for you. And she gives me... It's your share. I mean, you must be starving too, right? They're really tasty. You should try... You should try them. Quest complete. And she gives me three. In the demo, I think she gave me two. Which is less than my share. But anyways, uh, we're going to eat them. And now you see we have a food meter up by our 
hit points that is represented by five loaves of bread. All right, back to Pippa. You know, Static, I've been thinking. You run around smashing up all these trees and grass and stuff and use the materials you find to build new things, right? It'd be pretty useful to have somewhere to store all that stuff, don't you think? After all, you're going to have to collect a lot of different materials pretty soon. Why, well, it's a secret, teehee, but you should still make something to put all your stuff in. Like a chest. Your friend is wise indeed. Having a place to store and manage the resources you gather would serve you well. Can you convince? Oh, convince. <sighs> Here we go. Can you conceive of an item that would serve such a role? A box, a crate, a chest, yes. Make something you can put things in. Chest, functional, branches bundles together, bundled together to form a stout strong box can be used to store items. Score plus 50 points. So, do I have enough? Indeed I do. So here we go, chest. And we're going to put that chest. Nowhere, because Pippa's going to want to talk to us. You made a chest? No! You can put all the stuff you collected in there and go and collect even more stuff. You know, Static, there's something I've always wondered. What exactly has happened to this world? They say that the light was stolen from us by a really bad man. Ever since, it's been all anyone could do just to survive. Nobody cares about anyone but themselves, and they never help anyone else out. <clears throat> Anyways, I think it's super boring to live like that. Don't you think it'd be fun if we could rebuild this city and everyone could live together? Uh, I don't know who everyone is, but we've got one little room so far and two beds. What do you want from me? I feel like if you're around, anything can happen. We should do everything we can can to make this town a great place to live but we'll need loads and loads of material to do that that's why I asked you to make a chest all right so it's agreed it is we're gonna build the biggest bestest city in the whole wide world I'll have a think about what we need to build and you'll build it oh thanks for that You are going to help me, aren't you? Static! Aren't you? I guess, because your heart's in the right place. That's incredible! Alright, uh, I guess talk to her again. It's going to be a lot of work to turn this place into a huge city, isn't it? Is there anything I can do to help? <clears throat> like, maybe I could build something that would be pretty helpful, wouldn't it? But I'm gonna. But if I'm gonna build things, I'm gonna need a room to work in, just like the one in this picture. Static, can you build me a room like the one I've drawn, please, pretty please? Yes. It seems that it's. It would seem that your example has awoken within young Pippa the will to build. The will to build. That, uh, Blueprints such as the one she has gifted onto you may be laid on the ground by pressing square. Pressing the flat pad to view the plan is in more detail. To complete a blueprint, ensure you place all the necessary items exactly as shown. Be sure to build rooms within the bounds of your base. At least the inhabitants of your town fail to recognize them. For a workbench, you can use that mason's workstation near your flag. You, you'll probably have to bash it a bit before you can move it. Roger, roger. Oh, and the room will need a door to get in and out of and a torch or something to light it up. But you can make things like that from raw material, right? Come on. Yep. Yeah. Alright, here we go. So let's... Come on. 
All right, let's lay it over here. Seems like a good spot. We'll do that so we don't have to build the wall. The back wall, anyways. And the side wall. Why not? Ah. I hope this is right. There we go. Layout. Not enough space. I gotta build it. Oh, that bites. Alright, let's do this then. Fine. Wanna be like that? I got something for you. Smashing we will go, smashing we will go, I'm smashing too much dirt, smashing we will go. I think that should be enough space, we will find out. Come on. Uh, Alright, there we go. Layout. There we go. Now we're going to put... I'm just going to build it for now. You know, they said you could move and place things, but I am not seeing how to do that. Oh, there we go. I figured it out! Awesome! Makes it a little faster. I'm out of dirt. I'm out of dirt. You see where I was digging earlier. <laughs> I don't know if you really call this digging. Bashing? It's not called digging. It's called bashing. This ain't Minecraft, son. We bash things. this little section and go back and hope that it's enough. Bash, bash, bash. It's the dirt bash. bonfire a chest which I have which I, that's why I didn't lay it down and a door all right so chest goes here do I have sticks I don't know if I have enough sticks oh I'm building over here now remember over here now bonfire Oh, I need blue goo. And what do I need for a door? Might as well make sure I have enough. So, I have enough broken branches. I need some grassy leaves and one broken branch. Okay, got enough. So, I just need leaves, which I have of that. So, I need some slimage. Come here, slimies. Switch to my oaken club, so I bash them real good. How many did I need? I don't even know. I did not look. What's wrong with me? 
You know, then I look at this, it might... You know, I didn't really go to that area um, in the demo. Anyways, back to the task at hand. No need to worry about demos and what it was, what it isn't, what it should be, what it could be. What it is, man. What it is. Alright. In we go. Build. One bonfire. And one door. There she is. And I got my blueprint back. Stone Mason's Workshop. A room built for building that puts everyone in a Masonic mood. Oh my gosh. The wording. That wording is okay. I'm not even going to go into that. Residents will build furniture and materials and put them in chests. So she will do things and then build things and put them in the chest for me and I can use them. Hooray! You built the workroom I asked for. Thanks, Static. It's just like the one in my picture. Oft will the inhabitants of your town seek to assist your efforts by presenting you with blueprints. Should you lack sufficient resources to complete a blueprint or other construction, search for them in the nearby wilderness. Some materials can only be obtained by defeating the monsters that maraud the wilds, thus freeing them from their grasp. I'm going to use my new workroom to build all sorts of stuff. I'll put it all in the chest at the end of the day so you can take a look at it. At all the amazing things I made. Yay! She's awesome. Coarse cloth. Maybe I can make some new clothes. Nope, still raggedy. <clears throat> Alright, now what she wants? Thanks again for the workroom, Static. Now we can make everything we need to rebuild the city. But it's not going to be much of a city with just the two of us living here. The truth is, when I was on my way here, I saw a suspicious looking man lurking around nearby. He looked like a bit of a weirdo, so I waited until he went away and ran straight here. But maybe if we asked him to come and live with us, he might lend a hand in rebuilding the city. You want me to go talk to this weird, suspicious guy and bring him here to live with us? Okay. He was on the other side of the mountain the last time I saw him. Go and find him, Static, and get him to join us. Roger that. Make good use of your compass, my child. It will be of great use to you finding that which you seek. Press option to take stock of your surrounding and search for the fellow of whom Pippa spoke. A new quest marker appears on your compass. Indeed it does. Alright, so I need to close this off. And I need to... Break that. And I need to build another door. actually need to make two that way I got doors in and out and to the back side oh, yeah give me that There it is. We are now enclosed. As good as it's going to get. And you know what? I ain't scared. I'm going to... Ah, I'm not even going to save. I'm just going to go find this dude and bring him back. Other side of the mountain. 
If I remember right, I had to go all the way around. So that is what we will do. And what does this say? There's an old worn signpost here with the words, My Pledge, emblazed on at the top. There's a lot of writing underneath. Would you like to read it? No, not at this time. I think it goes and talks about an encyclopedia and stuff and the uh, story of this world and stuff. What is a, ch a box for? Taking up space, I guess. We got a torch. We have a torch! Hey, give me my fruit! All of it. All my fruit. These ancient books are so difficult to read. Deciphering that Cantlin Chronicle might take much longer than I originally thought. The handwritten is so bad that Static cannot summon up the will to read anymore. Thank you. Alright, and we are taking this because we will need it. Alright. Oh, get away from that dude. The birds, those birds are nasty. They shoot fire. If I remember right, that old guy is over here. Just past this? I don't know what that is. Uh, no, where is he? There he is. He hid himself in a Minecraft box. Phew, phew at last, free at last. I can thank you enough, young man. <laughs> but tell me, who exactly are you? I sure, I'm sure I would remember such a funny looking face. What? You say you're building a town near here? Find my bushy beard, that's a wonderful news. Let me help. Let me join your city and help to rebuild it. Hmm, what are you pulling that face for? You look like you just swallowed an insect. Well, you may make whatever strange face you like. I'm fine. I'll find my way to your town whether you like it or not. Boo ha 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 ha. I am Rolo, the proud owner of that most venerable of books, the Cantlin Chronicles. I assure you that it and I will prove invaluable to the new city of yours. Now lead the way. Torch. Let's go. Watch the monsters. They will eat you. And I don't feel like stopping to save people. Sleeping slimes with the bubbles. Still think that's pretty cool. Slimes are sleeping and bubbles are coming out of them. What is that about? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this campfire since I have an extra slot open. Yeah, we already know this because he's right here. And birds are hovering because I can see their shadows. Stay away, birds. I don't remember what those things are called. We'll have to do a quest later that asks us to go take some of them out. So we will find out then. Alright, Rolo, we are here. My word! Just look at this place! By my bristled brow, this town is positively brimming with life. Why, I do believe that the Cantlin Chronicles describe this very place. 
It's the perfect location to bring Legendary City of Catlin back to life. Oh, my mention of the Legendary Tome piqued your interest, does it? The Catlin Chronicles is an invaluable volume of ancient knowledge passed down in my family over countless generations, and none of us can read it. <laughs> It is, mainly, it is many hundreds of years old, and its pages tell of mankind's hapless history and the lost art of creation and construction. Deciphering this ancient text could reveal secrets vital to the restoration of this once great city. Our meeting is no mere coincidence, Static. I assure you, we are destined to rebuild this magnificent town together. All right, now I'm gonna place another place down so he can sleep too. No, your spot's over here, dude. Don't even go in my bed. My bed's my bed. You stay in yours. All right. Now it looks like we're talking to Pippa. You found someone to join our town. I did. What's that? You think he seems a bit shady? You might be right there. That's why I avoided him in the first place. When I first saw him, he was giggling to himself and stroking this enormous book. But, but he's got a beard. He must be pretty dependable, right? And I did a study. People trust people with beards more than they trust people without beards. Don't know what that's about, but they do. And he must be really clever too. I mean, he's got such a big bushy beard after all. But anyway, now that we're found and <clears throat> now that we found a new friend, <clears throat> my voice is going. We can all work together to make this best, the best city in the whole wide world. Seed of life, all oh, yeah. And use, no need to hesitate on that. All right, let's go. I am actually going to build another chest. And it will be mine. Mine alone. For now, I'm just going to put it right here. It doesn't really matter much. I'll keep... Yeah, we'll do that. Torches. Put away. Keep the fruit. Sign. Put away. Everything else, put away. In the box, I'm going to go ahead and put that in here just for decoration. Because it gives me points towards my next level. Alright, who do I need to talk to next? Looks like Rolo. What's up, Rolo? Static, my friend. I do, do not mean to cast doubt on your claims, but what it truly... But was it truly you who constructed these buildings? If that were true, it would mean that you have the power to build new things. A gift that mankind lost so long ago. Could it be that you are the builder of whom the Catlin Chronicles speak of? The legendary figure blessed with the power of construction. Bah, of course not. If the builder had a face like that, I'd eat my own beard. Prepare to serve your beard up. And yes, Static, I nearly forgot. The path across the mountain between this town and the place where you and I have met was dreadfully treacherous, wasn't it? Well, the Cantlin Chronicles describe a special tool that can be crafted from the feathers of the chimeras, chimeras that dwell on those mountains. That's what they are, they're chimeras. A most convenient contrive contrivance that lets you travel at blinding speeds and be back at your base in the blink of an eye. Of course, if you truly were the builder of legend, I'm sure you would have no trouble creating this item and showing it to me. Static, my child, you need only lay your hand upon a new material to discern what items can be built from it. The Chimeras you, who you seek dwell at the foot of the mountain by this place. Use your compass to find them that you might not lose your way. 
All right, and on that note, we are going to end this episode because it's right around 30 minutes. Actually getting ready to go over. And when we come back, we will take out the Chimeras. And that will actually let us build the teleporter device that takes us to another area. And that is where the demo left off. So we'll be ahead of the demo on episode 3. So uh, come back for that and we will see where the portal that the demo didn't let us go through leads us. Alright, so um, as usual, show your support by clicking like and subscribe. Until next video, take care. Bye-bye now. Static Buzz, out.